Have you ever seen cache pop-ups like this in a game and wondered how they made it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make exactly this. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit more different than my usual ones. Instead of just me like scripting the entire thing through the video, I'm just I'm just going to tell you how the script works and what I did. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing for the UI, um, this test button is literally, that's all it is. It's just a button that sends the flyout. Uh, it's literally just for testing. Um, this isn't required. The top, so the top, this is what you would replace your UI with. Um, don't put it inside the flyout. You don't need to put it inside, but this is what you would replace your UI. So if you already have UIs showing how much money the player has, then you would use this. And then this template right here, is what actually shows up whenever they get something. So what I did for this is I made the anchor point 0.5 comma 0.5, and then I made the position 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0. So it's uh, kind of centered. You can move this however you want. You can make you can change this however you want. You can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can change it. Just you have to change references in the script, and that's all you need to worry about. All right. So here's the script. The first thing that we get up here is the replicate storage and the tween service. This is for animating and just getting reference to the replicate storage. This is the remote, which is a bindable event in the replicated storage right over here. And then the player is a, this is just a local player. We get the player GUI, which is just the star GUI folder, basically. The flyout GUI is the GUI right here that I showed you earlier. And the money template is the template for the money flyout. And then we get the default size of the template because we will be changing it later. The random position is 20, so this is the... The higher this number, the more spread out on the screen it will be. The lower the number, the less spread out will be. I just think 20 is a good number for this. I'll explain how it's used later. The goal object is the leader stat UI that you have. Um, in my case, it is this top UI right here. And then we get the absolute position. So money v2 is the vector 2, which is the absolute position. This gets the, the offset that you would find in a UDIM2. So this is where the flyouts will actually fly to after it, you know, is finished. And then this is all of the infos. So this is basically the settings for this. The in-tween info is whenever the template first appears onto the screen. Um, I have it for one second, elastic, so it goes back and forth a little bit. And then the out-tween is whenever it goes to your leader stat UI that you have. So the goal object. So I have it to our back, so it goes away from the goal and then straight to it. A little bit it just makes it look cleaner and smoother and then this icon tween info and tween props this is whenever the goal object does a little popping effect and for this one i added a little bit more into the info so the first one zero means the repeat count so i don't want it to repeat at all but it does reverse so reverses just means it'll go back to the starting position whenever you first play the tween and then this props is the goal size that you want so all you really need to do is you need to get your uh goal object ui and then just make this size just a little bit bigger than the current size that's all you really need to do and then we get the money tween right here which we set up right here and the on start on start is just the first thing that's ran we connect the bindable event to the flyer award and we send in the amount so this is how you would use it in your other scripts whenever you um give the player money or whatever you can also create a remote event for this which you just set it up basically the exact same way and then we create the money tween using the goal object and the info and the props that we have earlier and then this is just the testing so whenever i click the button it'll create a random flyout between 1 and 999 all right so this is the rest of the code the flyer reward so this takes in the amount so the first thing we do is we clone the, the template so that we actually have the ui for this and the next thing we do is we get we reset the position of the goal the reason i do this is because if the user changes the size of their window like this then it'll mess up uh the positionings of everything so we just reset it there to make sure everything is good. And we set the parent to the flyer GUI, which is the screen GUI. We set we set it to visible and then we make it super tiny, um, basically non-existent, just for tweeting. So then we check if the amount is greater than zero. So if it's a positive number, then we want to add this uh, plus icon to it. If not, it'll automatically have the negative sign next to it. And then we get the random position. So this is uh, kind of a long line, but it works. So the first thing we do is we get the random between the range that we have, so negative 20 and 20. And then we divide this by 100. Because it is scale, that means it's between 0 and 1. So if it's 20, we divide that by 100 to get 0.2. So this is basically between negative 0.2 and 0.2, which we do the same thing for the y-axis. We add this udim onto it, so 0.5, 0, 0.5, 0, so that 
it starts off in the middle of the screen. So we make it relative to the middle of the screen. And this is where we get the properties for the tweens that we will be creating. So the two random props, this is the properties for the two random position. So this is whenever it's going to the random position. So the size is going to be the default size. So the starting size that we set up here, the position will be the random position that we just got. And then we get the two top props. This makes the template go to the leader stat UI that you have. So mine is just at the top right there. And that's what that does. We set the size to zero so that it basically disappears without being too noticeable. And we set the goal money pause that we reset up there, which we could just put this down there, but I think it's just easier to read like this, maybe. I don't know. And then this is where we create the tweens. We just create the random pot to the random position tween and then to the top tween using the stuff that we already have created. All right. And then we just play this to random position tween. So it'll go from like the middle of the screen to wherever position it randomly generated. And then we want to get whenever this tween has stopped playing. So whenever it finishes playing, uh, we want to wait a second just so the player can, you know, see what it is. And then we want to send it to the top after, you know, half a second. You can delete this, increase this, whatever you want to do. And then after the money has went to the top, we want to play the money tween, which is the little pop effect that we have at the top. And then we destroy the fly UI. And, uh... Yeah, that's it. Um, if I, I don't know if I explained this well at all. Tell me if you guys want to see this, these types of videos, or if you'd rather just see me type it out. And then maybe if I explain it while I'm typing it, whatever you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe and join my Roblox group and my discord with the links in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.